Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to Catalyst. Chandra did say we accept everything, but I do just want to clarify, we do not currently, nor will we ever, accept Bitcoin. So, <laughs> you people, you people. <laughs> welcome to Catalyst. We do... Um, I love being able to like highlight, spotlight, and celebrate a certain microchurches, certain missionaries in the community, share stories, celebrate with one another, bear one another's burdens. And uh, it is, a, it is a, a strategic time in the year right now to highlight the ministry of InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. Oh, snap. Yes. Yes. I mean, it is hard to uh, overstate the significance of the uh, ministry of InterVarsity to the life and the legacy of the underground as you currently know it. And, um, you know, even as a, uh, I was a really uh, uh, surrendered my life to Jesus and figured out what it meant to follow Jesus in the context of InterVarsity in the, in the university world and was, and was trained as a cut my teeth as a missionary and was trained and made a million mistakes, but I had le I had a leader look at me in the eyes and say, "Your your your baptism into the kingdom of God is your commission into the mission of God." And don't let anybody tell you that you're not equipped or that you cannot. If God is calling you, you do it. And that's really like that that university world ecosystem. Which I think still today and for a long time will continue to be one of the most strategic places in this country to invest time, energy, effort, ministry into that space. Uh, and so I think it's important for all of us to know and to hear from and to labor and prayer for and to root for our, our InterVarsity communities. And so I'm, I'm going to bring up this morning just a few representatives of that InterVarsity ministry on several different campuses. So if you guys want to come up, uh, uh, we got Adriana, Bethany, Creed, <laughs> Creed, Sasha, and Essence. Essence is coming up this morning. So we have five of them coming up this morning. We're... we're not going to take a ton of time, but I, I want you to be able to know them, know their faces, uh, be able to know what campuses that they're trying to provide care and investment, um, and to be able to hear from them in this critical time in January. In August and January, it's like these people are pro have probably not sleep slept in three days right now. And they're delirious, and their answers are going to only make half sense, but we're going to have grace because they're, like, hustling right now, trying to reach new students uh, that are moving on campus right now, starting fresh this semester. So I'd love for each of them to just pass this mic and just say your name, uh, maybe the campus or campuses that you uh, cover um, and provide a little bit of leadership for, and then maybe just, like, a peak prayer request in this season of ministry on your campus uh, for all of us to know and consider. So... Am I going first? Yes, you are. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so I'm Sasha. Hey, everyone. I wanted to go last because I have, like, I don't know, HCC has multiple campuses. So I'm staff at HCC. And um, there are a few campuses. So what's cool about HCC is we, um, we sort of touch different parts of Hillsborough County. So there's Plant City, Brandon, Ebor, Dale Mabry, South Shore. So, like, yeah, super spread out. Um, but I think... Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, we, NSO, New Student Outreach, looks a little crazy because we have five campuses. But um, we, uh, this semester, we've been focusing um, on a different campus each week. So last week was Plant City, and which was really cool. Um, Edwin and Gabby um, were the student leaders who we were like serving, and um, just like spending time inviting students like, hey, do you want to look at Jesus? Like, do you want to come to Bible study? Um, and then this week we're going to be on Brandon campus. So prayer for like all the juggling. I feel like it's a juggling act of like being in different places um, and coordinating with each other. Hey, we're going to be here. We're going to do this. Um, so I feel like that's what sort of comes to mind. <laughs> yeah. Amen. 
Hey. <laughs> it's, it's weird because I'm usually shouting at people in the crowd, like towards the stage. So I'm like, is there a dynamic change that I need to take on? My name's Creed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I need to be quiet. My, my name's Creed. I'm, at, I'm one of the staff members at UT. Um, and man, so we're like the oddball campus that starts like two weeks later than everyone else. Uh, so that's cool. Um, but there's also, it's actually been needed because at this point in our chapter, we've been feeling a need for a lot of change and a lot of, um, like a lot of changes in structures in our chapter. Um, it's just, it's just felt like almost a sort of like revolutionary time where uh, we're like questioning everything. Oh, we've done this for a long time. Do we need to throw that out the window? Uh, what do we need to keep? What do we need to um, change? So I think there's been a, there's been a lot of discerning uh, as to um, um, like what our chapter is going to look like this, this semester, really. Um, and so we could always use prayer for that. Boom. Uh, good morning. My name is Essence. I, um, I am, I, uh, I'm doing campus ministry at USF. So this area of Tampa is our, is our turf. Um, I'm also, so I'm volunteer staff, um, and I have a full-time job elsewhere, so whenever I'm not doing this, I'm also just trying to juggle two things. Um, She's a beast. <laughs> and I think I think my my prayer for our campus. Um, there's been like a lot of amazing work um, as I just listen to some of the the stories and um, talking with students, seeing what God is doing um, this past NSO. Um, I think there's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of um, zeal that I see in the students right now. Um, and it's really uplifting for me and I think for, for other staff on the team to see that. Um, but I think my prayer would be that that zeal um, stays and um, continues to permeate throughout the semester. I think things like academic struggles and relational struggles and spiritual struggles, um, family problems, money. Um, I think the devil often uses those things to undermine what God is doing on campuses. And they usually start right in the middle of, of ministry. Um, so my prayer would be that the devil doesn't win in that regard and that just the fruit that we've seen just this past week continues to blossom throughout the semester. Um, so. Yeah. Amen. That's good. Amen. I guess we're doing prayers as well. Yeah. Thank yeah. Campus. Okay. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Bethany. I'm at University of Tampa with Creed. Um, we're a great pair. Um, and no, I'm serious. Like we're very different and it's like awesome. Um, <laughs> And I think our team, I, I get to experience that a lot with students too, that we're, you get a whole bunch of people in a room that's like, we should not be friends, but we all love Jesus. And so it's, it's really cool to be a picture of um, the greater campus in that way. But um, yeah, we start next week. So this next weekend, you all won't see us. You two will be taking our leaders a little bit of a way to pray, um, plan, to uh, retreat and just hear what God has for us. So we would love for you guys to remember us next week, especially in prayer. Um, hi, I'm Adriana. <laughs> um, I am at USF Tampa here down the road. Um, I think this past week, it, it, it was also our NSL, our like outreach week. And I think it was just really cool to see how many of our like and student leaders came out and just said, y y yes to Jesus and yes to like taking a risk. Yes to like being re rejected um, by many people that have passed by. But then at the same time when like there there was a yes, it was exciting and we would all like enjoy that time. Um, and so I, I think my prayer is that as like and students on campus like see their, their campus as like a mission field that like 
they would be faithful um, to Jesus first and that like as as they invite others to like explore who Jesus is that they would also know Jesus in a more deeper way as well um, so I'm excited for this semester and all the new changes that, that that are happening like there's a lot of new like structures that like we're trying to try and with that it could either fail or succeed so even with that like just to pray for that too mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to take a moment to it's it's important to realize that these are not these are not like the five leaders of campus ministry in Tampa. These are really like some of the the activators and overseers of campus ministry who have a world of student leaders behind each of them. Some of them in this room, some of them in this room. Uh, leaders who are stepping into the campus world and contesting for the name of Jesus every day on campus, in their dorms, in their classrooms, and some of you remember what that was like, and and, and the, the 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 just the spiritual intensity of those four years, um, and 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 trying to leverage every space that you have uh, to invite people deeper into relationship with Jesus and the knowledge and the awareness of the kingdom of God on campus and. Again, for the next, some of them over the last week or over the last two weeks, and some of them coming up soon, are going to be doing every, like late night barbecues and playing games until three in the morning, and and do, like meeting at people's houses, and they're they're just relationally like spending themselves. And and anybody who's an extrovert needs an extra prayer. They need like three or four extra prayers during the, these months because it's just like constant spending, constant deepening. Um, and, and leaving the 99 in search of the one who is lost. I mean, getting, getting these cards with information for students who are interested and just trying to connect them, trying to connect them, trying to connect them. So I'd love as a, as a whole community to pray for them, to pray for the student leaders uh, uh, in those chapters, to pray for campus. Um, and so as a community, if you just join in praying for, for these leaders, and, and Joe's is going to stand and lead us in like a corporate prayer uh, for, these, for these leaders and the students who are here. God, um, I just pray um, for these five here, Jesus. Um, I pray first, starting off with their inner lives, Lord God, that they will have a strong connection with you, Lord God, that they will have, be able to hear you well, Lord, yes. um, and whatever they're going, Lord God. Then I pray for the campuses that they're on, Lord God, as a ministry. God, I pray that they would be able to pivot if you ask them to, Lord yes. God. That the expectations that they have right now, that they'll hold it with an open hand, Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I pray that you would allow them to trust in you, Lord God, that even if things don't look like the way they expect it to. And God, I heard them say a lot of good things that are happening, Lord God. I pray that you help them to pace themselves, Lord God, yeah. um, and to know. And I pray for more laborers, too, Lord yes. God, that yes. it wouldn't only yes. be them, but yes. that you will call people alongside them to yes, Jesus God. so that they're not um, carrying the weight all by themselves, Lord mm -hmm. God. I pray that you would find ways to encourage them every day, Lord God, when it gets hard, when it gets challenging, and when things seem like it's not going the way that they hoped it would, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So, God, I pray a special blessing over them, Lord yes. God. I pray that you give them energy like they have never had before, Lord God. I pray that you would help them to learn that they don't have to be strong. They just need to know where to find the strength, Jesus. Yeah, yes. So, God, I just pray in that moment um, that you allow them to rely on you for your strength and your energy, um, for their strength and their energy, Lord God, that they wouldn't be using theirs at all, Lord. And I just pray for a sense of peace, Lord, despite if it's a sunny day or a storm comes through, Lord God. I pray that they um, would hold on to joy, Jesus, um, knowing that you're always working, Lord God, even if they can't see it, even if they can't understand it, Lord God. And Lord, I pray that they would follow you in such a way that if you ask them to do something that seems meaningly, meaningless to them, Lord God, that they will know that you're orchestrating something bigger that they cannot yeah. see. Yes. So Jesus, I just pray for that. Um, I pray for their openness, for their faith and their trust in you, Lord God. Yes. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.